All right, everyone, Dashing Dink here, and we are going to be door dashing and Instacarting for this Tuesday, January 30th. I've got the apps turned on. Um, we got a full tank of gas. We got full charge on our batteries. We are ready to roll. So we're gonna head towards the north end of town and we're gonna see what we get for our first offer. See you in a bit. All right, we sat in the mall parking lot, our favorite place to park for about 12, 13 minutes. <laughs> But well, we finally got our first order of Tuesday, January 30th, and it is $4.50. Uh, I think it was to go like 1.7 miles or something like that from McDonald's. So we're gonna head on over here to McDonald's, grab that order and get this day started. Hopefully this is a trend to keep getting orders. Look at that. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Alright, thank you Jada for your order. Enjoy your McDonald's and have a wonderful day. Alright, we got the uh, McDonald's dropped off. And we were on our way back to and just drove through the mall parking lot, which is our favorite place to park. And I received an order from Duncan for $7 even to go 4.4 miles. So we accepted that one, it's in the queue. We are on our way to Duncan. We'll grab this order and we'll get it delivered. Good morning. Thanks guys. Amy, thank you so much for your order. Enjoy your Dunkin' and I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, well, we we did that delivery of Dunkin' and we made it all the way back to the mall parking lot where we sat for probably a good seven, eight minutes. Got some set time today. Um, but the mall parking lot is our favorite place to park, so I'm not overly concerned. But we finally did just get an order um, it's from Subway in Walmart, which is the good one. And um, it's for $5.50 to go, I think it was 2.1 miles. So let's run over to Subway here in Walmart and grab the order. We both got dashes. I've done one of them. I got Tyler and and I've got Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba G. <laughs> this one's Bubba. Yep. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. You too. All right. We got the uh, subway picked up for Bubba G. <laughs> And we're on our way over there now, but I met a, I met another disabled veteran while I was in Subway who, this is only his third day of door dashing. Um, pretty sad story, he said his wife left him recently and he had to find something different to make up for some of the income. And he was out riding around with his 10 year old, no, his, 
17 year old one day and he likes to go for drives to calm down and he's got some PTSD pretty bad. But he said that uh, his 17 year old wondered if it would be okay to do some DoorDash deliveries while they were out and he said sure. So they were driving around and he said in two days he made 190 bucks and he was like wow this is pretty good money. So I told him, I said, well, you've only been doing it for three days. And I said, you're at the end of the month. I said, wait till the beginning of the month and wait until tax season. I said, then you'll really do good. And he goes, really? I said, yeah. I said, there'll be good days and bad, but I said, you can make a decent living doing this. So he's enjoying it, but he said, man, I really wish that they would link you to some YouTube channels or something to kind of tell you how to do it or tell you what to expect. And I said, filming for YouTube right now so go check it out so he's gonna go check out my channel but I gave him some tips and some pointers there today and always willing to help a fellow veteran so <laughs> all right guys we are almost there Hey, Bubba. Yes, sir. All right, man. It's going well. There's bag number one. And there is bag number two, sir. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, you have a great day. Enjoy your uh, subway. Thank you. Man. Have a good one. All right, the subway was delivered to Bubba, and he was a nice guy. Um, we just got another order. Four dollars and fifty cents, I think, to go like. I don't know. I actually, I don't even know. I think it was one point some miles, but anyway, it's from McDonald's. Um, we got it in the queue. We're heading over there. Things are picking up a little bit. We're actually showing some hot spots on the map. So maybe today will be a good day. Maybe yesterday was our slow day. Oh, you're okay. No problem. Have a day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Yeah. All right, everyone. We got the McDonald's dropped off. I wasn't able to record it because the, the address... I've been to this place a thousand times. It's an apartment complex. There's like six apartment buildings here. And it's the Northern Cedar Apartments. And their address is whatever the number of the building, Northern Cedar. And the road that goes along is Norton. Well, the address came in Norton. And I'm like, there's no, there's no place here and it and then it took me to a completely different apartment building i don't know google maps whatever but i found her it's all good <laughs> it has been delivered okay we got our next order it is from country kitchen for four dollars and fifty cents i think it was one point some miles <laughs> once again i didn't look because we're taking everything so um I haven't even looked to see if our AR has gone up yet. Um, I was counting up deliveries since when we got that Tapatios Mexican restaurant the other day and they tried to send me a stack that didn't give me a notification of any kind. Um, I was looking to see how many deliveries we've done since then to see how far into our rolling 100 we are to get to that 100 percent and uh, i think i counted with this delivery here i think it's 28 since then so not a whole lot but um we'll get it we'll get it like i said i'm gonna be out for a long time today probably enough footage for two videos and um, we'll go from there
Brienne. Probably already a straw on there, but I play it safe. Okay, thank you. Another one? This is the first one earlier. Good morning. Good morning. I have an order for Brienne? Yep. All right. I'm very happy to see you. <laughs> I'm starving. Very. Yes. All right. Well, I'm happy. Or, yeah, I'm happy I put a smile on your face. <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, everyone. We just dropped off the country kitchen for Brienne at the bank here that's right next to the mall. And immediately coming out, we got a high pay offer. It is $6 plus from Taco John's, which is right here on the opposite side of the bank. So <laughs> here we go. One, you can't script it. And two, couldn't work out any better. All right, let's go into Taco John's. Claire, all right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you too. Okay, so we picked up the Taco John's. It's in the hot bag. We're actually heading back to the townhouses that we delivered the subway to earlier. But I wanted to pose a question to everyone and make sure you put your comments down below. But would you rather drop an order off and get another order right away and just have that happen all day long so you stay extremely busy? Or would you rather get large paying orders and maybe you have, you know, eight or ten minute wait time in between each one of them let me know what you think about that I was I was actually thinking about that last night because I was like man you know I really like to stay busy because of the fact that one it makes the day go fast but two I get to a point where I don't even look at the dollar amount or anything like that anymore and then all of a sudden at the end of my shift I look and I go, wow, I, wow, I, I stayed really busy. Look at the money I made. Um, I just get into a zone, you know. So let me know what you think. Put those comments down below. And um, yeah, do you like a lot of offers? You stay busy. You get one right after you drop one off. Or would you rather have high paying offers so you still make a decent amount of money, but you got a little bit of wait time in between? All right, we got the um, country kitchen, <laughs> or excuse me, the Taco John's dropped off for Claire. I'm, I'm all flustered. My GoPro keeps acting up. I go to push the button, nothing happens. I gotta continuously take the battery out. So I don't know if these are some of the same issues that Dashing Across America was having. I'm gonna have to email him and find out exactly what was going on with his, but. Sorry for that, we didn't get any footage of the drop off, but it's working again now, and um, hopefully we get another order soon. All right, everyone, we got a high pay offer, 550 to go 1.3 miles from McDonald's. And yes, we were sitting in the mall parking lot for a little bit, but that's okay, because it's our favorite place to park. So, we are just going to jump across the parking lot here, across a couple of roads, and make our way to McDonald's. Hey, 
Are you the one that had the um? I have a DoorDash. Oh, there's another DoorDash. Cheese um, I'm not sure. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, the number is one F four. The last three. Thank you. You too. All right, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Um, we were inside McDonald's picking up the, the McDonald's order and an Instacart batch came through and I just went to hit accept and someone got it before me. It was for $60, six zero, 59 and some change. To go to Target shopping for one person, and it was a lot of units, it was 83 units, it was like 59 items, 83 units, but big deal. I mean, even if that would have taken us two hours, that would have been 30 bucks an hour. And it got snatched out of my hand just as quickly. That's that's what I mean, man. They when they when they're good, they go quick. They go very very quick. So. All right, thank you so much for your order. Enjoy your McDonald's and have a wonderful day. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a moment and show you this car. I mean, it's obviously hand painted, but <laughs> somebody had some time. All right guys, we, we haven't gotten an order yet, but I wanted to, ask you something else too as we make our way back to the mall parking lot our favorite place to park so think back to when you first signed up for DoorDash and think back to that first week or first month even um, because I know when I first started the orders that I got seemed pretty decent and they seemed very frequent and I obviously I had top dasher status for that first month because I was new to the program when I was talking to that gentleman in subway earlier he said this is his third day and he goes man if I can make that kind of money but those of you who watch the channel those of you who do DoorDash and have been doing DoorDash for a while Think about back when you first started. Was it good for you also? So my question is, do you think DoorDash, when people first sign up, do you think the algorithm purposely sends them one, good orders, and two, a lot of orders to keep them busy, to hook them into doing this? Um, you know, when I first signed up, my first month was phenomenal. And then it wasn't until that second month that I started seeing the um, bad customer reviews and then the bad orders started popping in and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just curious what you guys think. If you think that DoorDash purposely sets up the algorithm to give new DoorDashers high paying offers and a lot of offers so they stay consistent out there. Because this guy, acted like DoorDash was the golden gem, but we all know that there's good days and bad because I've been doing a lot of sitting today and the money has not been good. So put your comments down below. Let me know what you think. All right, we um, sat there for a little bit, but we finally got an order 
six dollars to go like 1.3 miles something like that from Perkins so we're gonna head over to Perkins um, I'm kind of taking my time because Perkins is a little slow but we'll go over there and get this order and grab this six dollars Yeah, you too. You know, I have to admit that um, <laughs> this challenge of taking every DoorDash order to 100% AR is not easy. Um, I've seen some orders that I would obviously take no matter what. But I also know the places in town that are slow and that take a long time and all that kind of thing and Perkins is one of them I'll just be straightforward I sat in there for a long time and um, you know when you know your market there are certain places that you probably refrain from going to there are certain orders that you don't take because of the money to miles ratio or whatever and uh, do, doing this, I'm, I've greatly decreased my hourly rate because, you know, we're taking every order, but it's the wait time. It's not so much the, the amount that I'm getting per offer. A lot of them have been okay, but uh, it's the wait time. It's killing me, you know, when I'm only getting two orders an hour where before I would get four to five, depending on where they were going, but certainly for a lot better pay, but it's difficult. Hey, how you doing today? Yeah, have a great one. Hey everyone, Dashing Dink here, and I just wanted to say that this is a point in the video when we're gonna call it part one of today. I'll come back with part two of today tomorrow. Um, my whole goal was to do some lengthier ones so that we could start banking a few uh, videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for taking along. Thanks for subscribing, liking, sharing, and uh, commenting on the videos. Remember, this is Dashing Dink saying, until the next dash.